Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Desk Pi Pro from 52 Pi. So let's get started. <laughs> Now before we begin, I do want to thank 52Pi for sending this over to me. This is a review unit and it will be coming soon if you're looking into purchasing one and all the links will be down in the description below. Now this is by far one of the prettiest desktop cases I've ever seen for the Raspberry Pi and I, I am so happy that I got the luxury of actually taking a look at this. Now if you are really serious about using your Raspberry Pi as a desktop, uh, this is something to consider because it has everything you need packed into this little case, including the power button and everything that you would want. Now taking a look at the front, you have the power button, two USB 2s, and then the micro SD card. And that's the same micro SD card you would use to boot up the system. Now, because we have the new EEPROM with the USB boot, you don't need that in there. And you could actually boot directly from the SSD. Now in the back side, you get the USB 3 and two full-size HDMI connectors. And then the audio connector, the two USBs from the Raspberry Pi 4 and one USB 3 because the other one is being used by this connector for the SSD that it houses. And then you have your Ethernet adapter. So that's basically the Raspberry Pi back. But they do bring everything together so it doesn't look messy. You could plug everything up to the back and you don't need to leave everything in the front. As far as the power button operation, when it's off it's actually red. When you power it on it turns blue. And because this is acrylic, you will actually see some of the LEDs like kind of bleed through like the red LED and stuff like that which I don't really like like but it still indicates that if the Raspberry Pi is working or not. Now you could actually hold the power button for three seconds and it will actually power off the device. There's also software that you would have to download from their GitHub that actually allows you to use the power button as a soft power button where you could click it and actually turn off the device through using that button as well as other software that have implemented. Now inside this guy you actually get this really beefy heatsink. It's a quiet one and it doesn't the fan actually doesn't kick on until it reaches a certain threshold or a temperature. As far as the fan operation they do have the software that we were just talking about where it actually controls the fan through PWM and they have uh, ability to be 25%, 50%, 100%. So you are able to actually control the fan or let the software control it. And this is the caddy to hold the SSD which also plugs into the top. And you can see how pretty the sister board is. This is where I would say the um, HDMI is connected, the audio and also the power. And this is how it forms everything together. Taking this thing apart was super easy. It's only got four screws that holds the front plate and the back plate together with a T8 hex. And the rest of the screws are Phillips. So not much as to taking this thing apart. You do have ventilation up on top. That's where the heatsink would blow the air out. And you also have ventilation on the bottom of the Raspberry Pi. So this thing stays cool. This thing also has some weight to it. So it actually feels like an actual desktop computer. Or you could say it feels like a thin client. It's actually really comfortable to hold. And I know if I plug something in or I move it around, it's not going to shift because it's got that weight. It also has all these pads on the bottom that also gives it grip. Now, I do really like this case as a desktop desktop use because now with the Raspberry Pi being 8 gigabytes and a couple of desktops that I was showing you the elementary OS and other stuff you could fully use the Raspberry Pi as a desktop for a light work and having a really cool case like this just encompasses everything and makes everything look so cool especially if you put this by a TV oh one thing I did forget to mention is that there's a blue LED in front and if a hard drive is not connected it just stays solid but if you do have a hard drive connected it does become a hard drive indicator light which is something I do like you call me old school or something but I love indicator lights for the hard drive or activity lights just so I know that the hard drive is running but that's a I'm pretty sure that's an old school thing so I personally really like this thing and right now it's actually chilling on my workbench as a desk Pi or desktop pc but really it's a really cool fascinating look to this it's got a lot of airflow so I could breathe and all that stuff so I'm not worried about it overheating I mean, I can't ask for much more. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this case, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.